Paragon Gauntlet options. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to a brand new video. So of course the Paragon Gauntlet is uh, is your event quest bosses, but on speed. Quite literally, I did find some of the AI very different to the event quest one. I just blasted through a load of event quests over the last couple of days, and I definitely found like they're just passive nature in some instances, and just unusual times of firing off specials. Which is very different to how it is in the event quest. Something I would just warn people if you're going into it thinking, oh, this flows just like the event quest. It's not the case. So I've put a link in the description to a, a little bit of an infographic -y guide thing, uh, which just showcases some options against some of the uh, the champions that are playing into the X Magicka. So it's X Magicka and Magic Thief based options. There's quite a few. There's actually quite a lot more than last month that really will take on this content very well. My team for this one was Nick Fury, Bishop, and Iceman. If I'm being honest, I probably would have taken out Iceman for this one, but I did like to use him against some of the various fights. Like, he can do the uh, Massacre fight, he can do the Domino fight, just about. Uh, he can also do the uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead fight, but I would personally go in a different direction, especially because I preferred... Uh, using Bishop. Bishop was one of the better go-to options um, for a lot of this. So right off the bat, talking about a uh, well, difficult one. Yondu is a champion that if you are annoyed about stuff like bleed, it's sort of a problem, sort of not. Especially if you've got willpower on, because that will help kind of mitigate a few things when it comes to debuffs that will pop up from time to time. Bane you got to be very kind of quick on your rotation to throw that back at the enemy, which isn't too bad. So you best off kind of working in with like a like a striker type menta mentality with it, looking at okay, so I may not get my parries in because of the champion's nature. So I'm looking to at least fire that off and then get back in again to like reapply the bane over the other side. Champion options for this uh, do vary. I personally liked using, uh, I think it was. But it was Nick Fury for this. I've put Bishop down, and I don't know why I've put Bishop down for this. Maybe I'll take up Bishop for the class disadvantage. Or maybe I saw somebody use it. Like, I don't know. Like, if you've used Bishop in that fight, let me know. But I, I don't know why I had that in there. Anyway, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider is a fantastic champion. It can be utilized for multiple fights in Paragon Gauntlet. And as well plays into the X magicka Magic Thief type options. Somebody used Baron Zemo effectively. Uh, domino, I think I saw someone use a 7 star Domino against this but I personally uh, would go down the route of Cosmic, Cosmic Ghost Rider if I wasn't using uh, Nick Fury for this just through circumstance of course keep the champion to an SP1 and you'll have a great time Massacre is a bit of an odd character, especially when it comes to what you, th what I thought I think at the time when I did my first event quest guide for this one about several days ago is I was talking about, I think I was referring to not using like energy based champions but in fact it may be best to use energy based champions based on some interactions uh i think it was is it with adaptive yeah adaptive override and yeah yeah that's the one high energy diet is the other things so that those interact so you've got to like knock number one you've got to knock down the uh, the enemy that's that's one of the main things in order to actually do any damage i used iceman against this and i didn't particularly enjoy that because it was a long fight hey if it's stupid and it works it's not stupid but i would have opted for something like storm pyramid x or at least something like uh, kingpin or wiccan but I, I it was a case of like you just throw stuff in there and give it a try and see what happens maybe you know future testing could have got some different results but those were probably options i'd use or indeed use Cosmic Ghost Rider, but again, that's kind of like an iffy one to use uh, as well. Of course, you can't use the skip node and you go straight into the domino fight. And this one is, this had a problem with because of the version that I played in the event quest seemed to be very different to this version. And again, it's just through AI movements. Kabam's always looking for specifics of like, you know, oh, well, why is it different? In a bad kind of different way. And it was just down to certain little things. In the event quest one, I wasn't getting a hit into block counter by special, or I wasn't getting constantly intercepted by special attacks. In this one, I was. Or it was a case the enemy wasn't throwing special attacks at all. Or the champion was procking unlucky and uh, lucky uh, a lot of the time, which seemed very, very weird. Much more so than the event quest one, which I said this is kind of like 
event quest on speed. Anyway, just got through it, which is fine. Throwing special attacks is very important. Caltrops, bleeds. Okay, bleed immune champions would be key, or bleed like reducers would be handy if you're looking to swipe back. Otherwise, you're just going to be very much on the offensive uh, with this one. With breakneck speed, you're looking to like reapply and throw your whiplashes on to the enemy. Uh, it's whiplash yeah, it's whiplashes. Whiplashes onto the enemy uh, by throwing special attacks. Also, you'll see from time to time, past the buck will have you on this kind of oh. Uh, what is it like detonation your yeah, power sting debuff like it will detonate if you throw a special attack with it on and you have to intercept in order to get it on not exactly helpful if you have a bad ai and that's another thing the way the champion was interacting you have a very short window or you have a window to intercept but also throw a special attack to put the uh the debuff on the power sting debuff and remove your whiplash charges before you are punished. And I felt like the AI was just not playing ball with that. But in any case, it's, it was done and that was fine. I think I used Bishop for that particular fight because the champion interacts with the bleed uh, side of things. But there's many others, like whether or not you want to use Iceman, whether or not you want to use Baron Zemo, uh, Kushala. Uh, definitely a good shout for that. On to Yellow Jacket now. And this particular champion was okay. Very, again, different from the Event Quest version. I found that I was able to push the champion a lot more to SP2. Yes, you do get as part of a uh, immovable object, object, the Steadfast. Uh, buffs which allow you to block uh, incoming special attacks which is good because I'm not a great kind of evader of the SP1 so you have to adapt if there's something about that fight that you don't like you have to adapt whether you get right up and close and then kind of look for heavy attacks and then in in order to push the enemy up to an SP2 I found this champion was throwing SP1s more than the one in the event quest where it seemed to throw more sp2s and i'm not saying that's not even part of the um uh, the local no the local nodes for the champion but it is definitely part of like how the champion kind of like moved out at, at me at the time uh, you do have dismay whenever the attacker loses their highest achieved combo which of course if you're looking to block during unblockables you're going to get a uh, degen on you so you might want to be proactive in your swiping and tapping and smashing up the enemy uh, there is release valve which is whenever the attacker successfully dodges a special attack it's using uh, dexterity mastery the combo count is reduced by five so yes do bear in mind with that you're, you're, you're pretty much going to play into degen in any case but as long as you've got a high attack based option champion which i just remember i think i used either i think i used bishop for it i was going to use nick fury but i wanted to change it up and kind of focus on what uh what i wanted to to um to play into this so yeah that those that, that was my options uh, for that particular fight would i recommend something like uh, kate bishop for this maybe possibly down to a personal preference i guess Negasonic Teenage Warhead does prove a little bit of a problem, especially with Back Blast and Don't Interrupt Me, Interrupting the Defender, with the medium nullifies or non-armor ups on the attacker, and deals the attacker a burst of direct damage equal to 30% of the defender's attack or each buff nullified. Uh, for this one, yeah, there's tons of options. Whether or not you want to use Kingpin to deal with some issues i've seen kingpin being used i'm more of a kind of a bishop and iceman type person just to have that element of uh, burst damage that you're doing with bishop the same way we'll see with silver sable is something that i did in a video which was just like you know a, a cheese type thing uh, so yeah they're they're good uh nick fury could be using this one as well i guess it's just down to like who is on your team of three because uh, of course my team of three excuse me will differ from your team of three Hiccups. Especially you might want some uh, incinerate immune options. Um, again, down to you if you want if you want to do that. Now Silver Sable is finishing you off because the champion has a zapper, so anything that's got like a like shock debuff. And there will be a few debuffs that are thrown on you throughout the fight, which could mean that you want those kind of debuff purifier type champions. Of course, a lot of these these ones, next one teenage warhead and silver sable, keeping the champion to an SP1 may be the play. But whether or not you are using the likes of the Bishop Cheese, Baron Zemo, very effective champion, Storm Pyramid X, Kingpin, very effective here, Nick Fury can be very effective, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Domino, there's several that can do this fight very cleanly and smoothly and it's not too much of an issue. It's just a case of who you've got, who you've got on your team 
and who you think is best for it. I like using Bishop for this one, but I did find the AI very different. You're probably going to see in the footage I'm going to throw on screen. It's different to the AI that I was showcasing in a video when I took the champion down very easily. The champion did not want to come at me quite as much, and because it didn't, it behaved differently to what I showcased in that particular um, one-minute video I put out. I think on Saturday? Was it Saturday I put it out? No, it was Monday of this week. So yeah, it was very different, very weird, very strange AI in Paragon Gauntlet. Uh, but I am glad I got it done, especially because it helps towards my big video uh, that's out next Friday of the big seven-star opening, which the last time I checked is up to 27-star crystals farmed as a free-to-play player. So look, looking forward to that. Check out some other content located on screen. Who did you use? Put it in the comments section. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.